Hi everyone, it's Kelly and welcome to my channel and hello to my new subscribers. I hope everyone is having a really good Friday and today I wanted to share with you a series that I'll be doing here on my channel called Wake and Make. <laughs> Literally, I'm going to wake up in the morning and give myself 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour to just create. And in this case, I'm going to be focusing on my card making. And if you follow me on my Instagram, you probably have already seen this and this is a card that i made for my design team the ccee stampers i'll also list that in the description below on my blog and um we have a theme for this week as september is honey month so anything regarding honey which is the bees the honey bees the honeycomb you know anything maybe the color honey you are welcome to create a card and link it below to the blog so this is the one that i created and i literally woke up and i realized it was about to be posted in a couple of hours and i needed to get her done and this is what i came up with and i'm really really pleased with it i think it just came out super cute one of my favorite styles in card making is to create scenes and to use cute fun critters and um, that just seems to be what i gravitate towards and then the next thing that i love in card making is flowers which you'll see coming up soon as well but basically i just took a piece of cardstock this background cardstock is from photo play and um, stamped it out on a lawn fawn white cardstock and then just colored it with my Copic markers and this little uh, circle back here is vellum because I really wanted these sun rays to keep uh, showing through and I was afraid if the white cardstock it would just cover it up so I decided to use vellum and not sure where this is going yet but it is a just because so I can use this all year long for many different occasions and I used meant to be from my favorite things this is a very old stamp set wow i've had this in my collection for a long time <laughs> i have many times meant to go back and buy the dies and i usually just forget so i was able to use the my brother's scan and cut to create this little scene and i mean you could always fussy cut it if you don't have a die cut machine it's okay you just use whatever you have some scissors would work just as fine but i just love this and i thought this was really cute and i was happy to wake up make this and I got it done in time to post on my blog <laughs> and was ready for the challenge. So of course you are all welcome to play along and create, you know, maybe it's a scrapbook page. Um, maybe it's also a card in ATC. I made a couple of twinchies recently and had an absolute blast. I think I'll definitely be making some more of those for the holidays. So, I mean, this, the sky <laughs> is the limit on what you can make. So that's my card number one. The second thing that I made was I created a, a card challenge for myself three years ago, and I call it one plus 12, where I take one stamp and I make 12 different cards once a month using this stamp. So at the end of the year, I have 12 completely different cards made with one stamp. And originally I thought of that for uh, extending the use of my stamps and getting more out of the use of my supplies. You know, I would uh, sometimes buy a stamp set and then would use it once and then I would never use it again. So it was more of a challenge to get myself to use something over and over and over again. And it has turned into one of my absolute favorite things to do in crafting. And uh, the first year I used a little fox and last year I used a flower and this year I'm using a flower again. And this one is from Altenew and it's from their um, Build a Flower program. This was the Magnolia, which is my absolute favorite stamp in the world. I love magnolias. So I used um, the stamp this month. I just created a background of the white cardstock with some bright florals, and then I switched it. So when I stamped the flower on white cardstock, I also stamped it again in the remaining piece of this floral uh, designer paper and put that on the top. So I'm calling it a split negative. I don't know if there's an actual name for it because I literally just woke up and made this card in my head and I haven't seen it before. So I'm calling it a split negative where the paper here is the paper on the top and then the cardstock here is the cardstock on the bottom. And I just love this. I love how bright and fun and colorful it is. 
and I added a sentiment strip from CZ Design. And these are the ones that you just cut out from those little uh, stacks that they have. And uh, it just came out super cute. And it was, you know, easy to do. I just woke up, got it made, did a little die cutting here, and um, that was it. So I will leave the link to my blog in the description box and also um, to the other you know, uh, eight that I have created already this year, but it is just such a fun idea and it's really taken off. I invited two friends to do it with me three years ago and uh, a lot of people have messaged me, oh, how do I do this? And you know, what is the tag and what is the hashtag? And it's just really taken off and it's been such a fun thing to see grow. And I mean, it's a really simple idea to just take a stamp and make it move into, you know, several other cards. But yeah, this are my card number one and card number two for the Wake and Make. <laughs> so that's it for this quick video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if this is something that you guys would like to see, let me know, and I'll be sure to keep on going with this theme and this little new blog uh, and uh, channel challenge. So that's it for me, guys. If you could please like and subscribe and share, that would be awesome, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.